Welcome back to the course construction series and today we're going to have some fun. We're going to build the clubhouse after building the first nine holes of our course. Well, welcome back to the course construction series. Last episode we built holes eight and nine and today we are going to finally move this trailer out of the way and we are going to start construction of our clubhouse. Nine holes in the books. It uh, seems like a perfect spot to go in and uh, change things up. So first I'm going to click on this trailer. I am going to click on delete and uh, hopefully that's all it takes. There we go. The trailer is gone and now what we have to consider is how are we going to position our clubhouse? We have a first hole in place. We have the the rough outline of our 18 is coming up a hill and then we have a ninth green over here and we would prefer to have some kind of a view from the ninth green so so that's how it looks so far and uh, I've been trying to think what kind of clubhouse do I want for this something different and I am thinking that I'm not going to use one of the preset clubhouses I'm going to do something a little bit different so let's see what we can find for houses here uh no um and no and still not there still not there way too big for what we're wanting maybe but seems like a kind of a swiss chalet type of feel to it i want something with stone old stonework so yeah yeah that doesn't look too bad let's go with something like that there's a good starting point yeah let's go with uh Something like that, and there's our first tee, and uh, where's our 18th? I want to make sure that I'm looking up the 8th tee fairway that I can see this club of. So, yeah, I'm thinking something like that doesn't look too bad. Yeah, and let's see, how where's 18 oriented? It comes in in that general direction. Whoops. Let's choose this club of. so we're going to aim it towards the 18th line of play something like that and how does that look with our first tee it's a little snug but i think we can make it work let's move it up the hill a little bit we've got a roadway there we may have to tweak a little bit so let's do something like that as our starting point for our clubhouse and then we will go and let's add a second part let's just, just flip it around and see how that looks how does that look on the far side for a roof line. Nah. I think maybe we want a second door coming out. Do we want a gap between the two and see a little area there kind of joins two buildings like an addition? Or do we want to kind of bring it together and match up those chimney lines and roof lines? I'm leaning towards that. So let's try to get these buildings square. And this is just literally how I do clubhouses. I, I try to come up with some different looks how does that look in there getting close there come on yeah sometimes you got to wiggle it around and and get it kind of close something like come on I'm just looking for a finesse touch here <laughs> that's getting closer how does that look on this side not bad. Let's look on this side. Not bad there either. I think we can live with that. The roof line looks pretty well married up. Those chimneys look pretty close to being together. There we go. Get a little bit closer there. That does it. I think we can live with that. How does that look from farther away? So that gives us the second part of our clubhouse. I feel like I want something kind of coming out at me. Something a little more interesting than just that. Um, something like that, that. Oh yeah, that, that kind of has the look that I'm looking for. Okay, let's see if we can. So do we bring it back here? How do we pull it out? Something like that. Hmm. 
not sure I like that at, or not. And we leave it like that. Hmm. Tough choices. Let me move this down. Leave that door open on the far side. Could we do something like that? How about that? This makes it a little more interesting. Let's pull it out. Okay, so we got the door steps in. You know these old stone buildings? They're never perfect by any means. Yeah, I kind of like that. And there's our view looking at it from 18 looking up. That's got kind of a different look to it already. How's it look on the far side? Does it make anything messy over here? That gives us a little bit of a, a roof coming out and a door on that side. Yeah, I think that actually works really well. Roof line doesn't look too bad and looks interesting. Let's go with that right there. And then I'm going to want to add a pro shop that is similar. So let's look at a pro shop option here. Something up by the first T. Something maybe looking a little bit down the first hole. Kind of offset from the clubhouse. Close, but not touching. We'll leave a gap there. We might need somewhere to put carts through. Let's lift it up a little bit. Something like that, I think, is going to work. You know, let's go with that. Maybe, maybe a little more of a tilt to it. Push it back a little bit more. How about something like that? Lift it up so just a bit of the foundation is still showing below the brickwork on that back corner. We're probably going to have to clean this up a little bit. So there we go. We've got Clubhouse, Pro Shop. And how's that look from coming up the 18th? So that looks pretty impressive. We can definitely work with that. And how's it look for ninth green if you're putting away and you're looking through the trees? That looks interesting. There's stuff in the peripheral. And we can do some stone work here. We're going to clean this up. Right off the bat, we're going to take away a lot of the garbage that's around the clubhouse just to get a better feel for how this is going to look. So let's just eliminate a bunch of this. We're going to try to leave the trees until we decide if we actually need to get rid of them. So let me just get in here and knock down some of this. It takes a little bit of time, but... It's worth it. I'm going to take a little bit of this. Oh, I lost that tree. Do I want to lose that tree or do I want to keep that tree? Uh, let's keep it for now. Let's put that tree back in there. I just undid what I did. And we'll get in here tight and try not to get rid of the tree this time. See if that works. Tree is still there. Get rid of this. Get rid of this stuff. So I'm just cleaning up around the clubhouse here and uh, making sure that I've got something, something clean, something that's going to inspire me, like the surrounds of a clubhouse here, and definitely around the building here. We're going to get a lot of this stuff out of the way. And how about on the other side here, over by the first T Pro Shop area? Well, clearly we've got a tree that needs to go in the middle of the building. And some stuff on the other side here. We get rid of that as well. And the stuff out front of the building. Let me get rid of all this stuff right here. And we're going to probably do some flattening here at some point near the building. But we'll get that gone first. And let's just get rid of a little bit more of this stuff. I'm not sure what's going to come off this side of the building, but, uh, okay. So now let's do a little bit of flattening and make it so we can put some kind of a patio on this. We're obviously going to need cart path. Uh, we're going to need some stairs coming up to some of these doors. So let's go in here right off the bat and expose a few stairs here and clean up this corner. Something like that. That's not bad. I can live with that. And maybe raise this corner just a little bit. 
We'll have to be careful because we have the first tee there. We may have to do some jockeying with the first tee. On this side of the building doesn't look bad. This area of the pro shop will try to pull a little bit of it up. We're still going to have a hill here, but uh, we don't want to have it too sharp. We can fix that foundation. I'll show you how to do that in a second. So there's roughly that area there and this area between the buildings leading out to the roadway. Probably needs to be cleaned up a little bit. That's going to make it a little bit higher than I want right there. So we're going to bring that down three feet. Something like that. And this area back here. Oh, in the back corner of that building is technically in the dirt, but we'll we'll keep that for now. We'll see how that looks moving forward. I might want to still just take that whole area there and bring it down just a nudge. Something like that. And we don't want to mess too much with the teeing area, but we will come back in and flatten it again. I think that gives us something to work with. Uh, back up in here, I kind of feel like we want this a little bit higher. It doesn't have to be, but um, we're probably not going to have a cart path in front of there. More or less a patio there, so I think we can get away with bringing this up a little bit by these stairs. Let's do something like that. Okay, so let's build our front patio. We want to keep with the stone feel to it. So, what we're going to do next is go in here and find ourselves something that will work as a big, huge stone patio. How about a, how about a bridge? Let's see if we can find a bridge that's made of stone that might be able to resemble a big front patio. Nothing there. Nothing there. Let's see. How about this one here? This one looks flat. Okay. Where'd you go, bridge? There it is. Okay. Wrong type of stone, but we can fix that. I'll show you how we can fix that as well. Okay, let's see if we can just drop this down. On a couple of those stairs exposed. How is that going to affect over here? Okay, that works there. Maybe two stairs. And then over here we're going to have pretty well stepped down, really close to level with it. Yeah, it's a little uneven, isn't it? Those stairs coming out of there, a little wonky. We're going to pull it out from the building. How's that look there? We could also pull it out farther when we get around that corner. So, so let's, okay, we're going to try to embed this in the building so the corner of the bridge doesn't show. Something like this. There we go. And there we go. We've just poured our concrete pad. And... We'll go with that up right there. And then we're going to pour another concrete pad over here. And the same thing, I want to get this corner of the building. I don't want the foundation to show. Something like that. So if I went, if I lined it up. We jumped out a bit and lined it up with that back piece there. Something like that. How do we like that? I'm going to have to clean up that corner and add some brickwork to match it up. It matches with the front stairs. It's a bit of a jog out, but it's doable. Yeah, let's go with something like that. I think that works. The only thing in the back corner there, I can see a hint of the brickwork, I think. Got to get rid of that. There we go. That makes this little angle here look funny again. Let's see how that affects the far side. Yeah, I think that works. We can, we can make that work. I do believe. Okay, so we've got that in place, and we'll get rid of our concrete pad. Not too bad. I'm liking it. So now we're going to clean up the stonework here. So what we have to do is come back. We're going to go to walls and fences. I think we can find stone wall. There it is. I think it'll look more appropriate to the color of the clubhouse, which we can see there it does. 
So I'm going to get in here. And I'm going to drop this wall down a bit. Let's see something like that. And I just want to hide what's there. There we go. So that'll hide that. It's not a bad height, do you think? We can go up a little bit if we want. Something uh, we don't want it low enough so we could jump off of, but that's not bad. And then we're going to go over here. Um, pretty well tilt it. There we go. Almost something like that. That's the same height. I think that works. We're just going to follow this along. I'm just going to link these together. Like that. And I'm going to go and clean up the corners in a second, but this is giving me my, my stonework across the front of my clubhouse. Something like that. And again, just kind of covering up that other texture of brick there. Like that. And then one last one here. I'm going to have to just bring it out to this corner. I think that'll work. I think we can use that. And that will get us some brickwork across and we've got a little bit there showing at the bottom so I'm going to bring this down and uh, yeah, something like that will work gives us some bricks to go right to the ground and the little pieces of concrete showing at the top of the brick there that's just you know this is an old building it's got all kinds of mortar and additions and odd features to it so and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and clean up the corners here and this is literally how I build clubhouses, is just kind of winging it like this. Let's do something like this. Do we want it flush with the building? Or do we want it centered on the wall? Let's do centered on the wall. There we go. It's a nice corner coming out of there. I'm going to come and hook this up into here. Something like that. I'm going to have to hide that post though. So we're going to have to cheat a little bit that way. There we go. I think that works. Yep. So that one will go there. Come across and hide this one. Come on. Being stubborn there. literally just like touching bit by bit there we go i think that's that's as close as we're going to get it i'm going to put that one there come out to this corner here that covers that this one we may have to cheat a little bit on the outside almost there i don't mind that bit of concrete at the bottom that works for me and tie it in over here with one little bit like this only that there we go so that's how we've got our stonework done coming around the front of our clubhouse how does that look from coming down 18 pretty cool then I think what I will do is I want to run some stairs down from there to somewhere towards ground level so some steps and I think I want to bring them off closer to the house or this clubhouse than I do. Let's see if we can get those stairs square here. Something like that. Something like that. I think that works. So we will. Stairs, and then we have to add another extra set of stairs to get down to ground level. Um, so we will nudge these in place. Almost there. Come on. 
this is the finicky work, right? This is that's we're gonna call that close enough. That works for me. Okay, so stairs are there. And then uh hold on. We got a big monster step. That is not gonna do. Uh, it's not close enough for me. Okay, let's try stairs again and see if we can get it right this time. There we go. That's where we want, I think, up a little. Okay, I think that's a little better like that. There we go, so our stairs. And then I'm gonna put in another wall here. I gotta do some more stone work. And this one will probably be wide enough, I would imagine. We'll nudge that into place, something like that. That cleans that up, and I might as well kind of let's, let's see if we can just clean these up a little bit, make this a, a little bit of a fancier step down. Something like that. Okay, so that'll hide that part. If you see my tongue starting to pop out of my head, then that's when I get concentrating on artistic stuff, my uh, tongue starts to come out. Oh yeah, throw that brick there. Just trying to clean up that area under the stairs. That's all I'm trying to do at this point here. Just the finicky stuff. Like that. From a distance, the idea is just to make the texture look right. So that's why I'm not worried too much about some slightly some small gaps in there. Something like that. Okay. And I think we're going to need another post and wall up here. Lift it up, see if we can get it to, to link sync with this one. There we go. And for me, that's just the down button. It, it makes it to sync up. Oh, I think that'll work in there. That works. And I should add another post, I think, on that corner just to clean it up and make it look right. Both sides of the stairway, possibly. So we're going to go in here and uh, add one of these. I want to get it the same height as this one. Or close to it. There we go. That's pretty close. So we're going to add this right here. And then, same thing on the inside, double up this other post over here, I think would probably be worthwhile. Something like that. So there we got stairs coming down, we got some brickwork going on, and uh, I'm liking the looks of that patio there. And you can almost picture already a couple, you know, patio sets out there. Let's show how that looks. Furniture, patio set with some umbrellas. So let's turn that around. Snug them up close there. Right, there's one there. Probably fit a second one even in here. Over there. That. And then on this side, we can definitely fit at least one in this corner. Fit that. There we go. So we got some patios set up there. Hopefully the wall isn't too high; they can see it see over. It's gonna be a little close, but 
Anyways, the idea is from now looking up from 18 coming up. It's starting to look like a clubhouse there. You can see the pat patio uh, set. So on the far side, let's get ourselves a... We want something. What are we going to put in there? Let's go for one of these shelters. Let's go... I'm thinking something grandiose that we can try to make work. So let's throw that. Let's go with the roof line. So let's line that up center. Pull it out. Square it up to the building. And get that roof line pretty close. Okay. And then let's make it... Don't want to block those second story windows, right? So something like that and stay above the first and that creates an interesting little thing here but we're not lined up to the door what happens if we go to the door instead let's go to the door it's not terrible if we snug it up close to there okay and we look inside here and we bring it out just a little bit like that um, our door is off a little bit. How about we do that? And that gives us a post on the corner of the building this way. I don't want to block that second story window up there. There you go. I don't want to block the door either. It'd be close. We may have to fiddle with that and see what that looks like for the door, but I think that works. It looks a little ridiculous right now, but I think if in the distance it's going to look pretty interesting. Let's add it in. There we go. So adds a lot of texture and interesting sharp lines with the stone. Looking from the ninth green now, we're going to take out a tree there, but you can see that looks really interesting the stonework all works we look at it from the other side see it from the corner i think that works as well and we're gonna have to flatten some of that out there i think we can fit a car in there for dropping folks off so i think that's going to happen and uh, let's go in here and just quickly if our pro shop is going to be too close we may have to move our pro shop a little bit We'll give it a try. And then our spline here has to get right through to the other side. So there's kind of our driveway. And we're going to have to test that to make sure a car fits in there. But I think that kind of works. Let's uh, smooth the path out. Like that. I think we still got to move this in a little bit. Bring that driveway over. There we go. That works. Not sure if I like that building so close. I think it may have to move a bit. Let's take this and move it a little bit farther away from there. Something like that. Maybe a little more of an angle to it. get it away from that road I think that works a little bit better hopefully people aren't coming in there very fast so something like that let's just double check make sure a car fits in there underneath the roof line so we're gonna throw in a vehicle throw in a fancy looking car let's do that one let's do a white one yeah, green one what kind of car do you want to put in here blue one no <laughs> purple let's go with the black one so does a car fit in our little turnaround area it appears to fit so it's not a wide area but there we go so our car does fit up underneath there so that works gives us room to put a little bit of a turnaround i think i could imagine us getting in here and uh, tweaking this point here so if we go in here we add to path and 
let's start to turn around. I'm probably going to end up having to take that tree out, I, I suspect. But we're going to come in here and start turning. And the path again. Something like that. And we'll start working it back towards that driveway. Like this. And we're almost there. And hopefully one more gets us there. And of course we have to come in and do some flattening here and uh, all kinds of fun stuff. But there we go. I think we can probably just move that one now and connect it through. And then we'll do some smoothing. And we're going to have ourselves a nice little road. Looks like that. There we go. So we have a nice little road. Like I said, it needs to be smooth. We've got some trees. I like the way that road winds through a bunch of pine, makes the turn by the pro shop. Drop your clubs off here somewhere. I can see possibly cart path coming down here. You can come off the patio and down to the cart path. That's going to lead to our pro shop. So here's our pro shop. We've got some really sh sharp landscaping here. I think we're going to have to probably clean this up a little bit. At least over by the building. And then it's going to drop off down the hill. Hopefully not too sharp, but uh, definitely does drop off there. I'm going to maintain some sort of flatness on this T-deck here. Something like that. We will come back in and tweak this T in the in the future, but for now we're just trying to get something close. And uh, yeah, I think we we do have to bring this up quite a bit here still. Eight feet is quite a bit. It's gonna have to drop off beside that pro shop, I think. Some of that that works for now. How's the view from the first tee? Yeah, I think we can we can make that work. Like I said, we're gonna have to come in and do a lot of cleaning up of that, but uh, just for the purpose of getting some buildings built in here, uh, we need to put some stairs coming out of this, and we got to fix up the foundation of this pro shop now. So walls and fences, and if you haven't, if you struggle to build clubhouses and so forth, then this may give you some ideas of how to just to mess around with things and make it happen. So. I'm not a big fan of the color of those steps, but I think we've got to roll with something like that. Like that, and then we're going to have to bring that turf up to meet the bottom of the stairs. I really don't want much more than just one single flight of stairs. But what I want to do is clean up that foundation, so I'm going to go back to our stone wall. And we're just going to... Uh, Do something here. Let's do that. So we're gonna go. Let me just flip this around. So I flip it around and then I use the linking option. Then I, it's gonna work much better for me. So let's keep a little bit of that concrete there. That works. Let's go with that. So from the corner of that house, I'm just gonna run across with the. A bit of stonework for this foundation, as you can see. Whoops. Try that again. And we're just going to bring it right across. Like that. And to bring this back in. More, something like that. Hope that works. And make the corner here this way. And another one across. 
and such. Looks like we may have a long staircase coming down here, either that or a balcony or something coming off this. It works. And on this side, too. Spin it around. Something like that. And one last one to close the gap there. And there we go. Blends right back into the concrete. And we have a foundation. That's how you add an extra layer to that stone building. And I can see some flowers out front of here, possibly. Like I said, I'm not sure what this is going to end up being over here. Hard to say. How wide is this? What if we came up here and... Uh, Might be too wide. Let's go with the next one this size. I'm just wondering about putting a bit of a patio out here, a balcony type of look. Is there a stone wall with a fence? I don't think there is. Let's go with the wider one. Kind of tied into the corner of the building here. So let's do that. And we're just going to keep walking it out a bit. See if we can get it close to matching up. Something like that. Kind of like a little Juliet balcony or something coming out here. Is all I'm looking to do. Like that. How's that doing for height as well? Oh, we're off the ground a little bit. We we can live with that, I think. Maybe one more. Yeah, that works for me. I don't know if anybody's ever going to see this from the golf course, but uh, I think that there's a possibility that uh, it could be helpful. And then I'm going to go in and uh, that's the railing. There we go. I'm going to put a railing on this, of course. Don't want anybody falling off. Oh, my railing's going to look a little bit off, I think. You can see that it's in quite a bit. That's not terrible. I think we can live with that railing. It's not exactly waist high. Well, it works. That there. Safety first. It may seem ridiculous doing this level of detail for something like this that may never be seen. But makes it interesting to me. Connect that railing on that side. Save this side and then we'll call it a day on this little corner of this building. Mm. Something like that. We got a little bit of a, a Juliet balcony coming off there. I guess someone could come out of the pro shop and look down the first tee or even towards nine. Yeah, actually, that might be visible from nine. If you're on the ninth green looking over there. Oh yeah, you can see that little... Julia balcony coming off the back of the pro shop. We got some stairs there. They're going to be cleaned up with some shrubs. We're going to need some cart bath. We have got that in place here uh, on the other side of the building, that monstrosity, but I think it works from a distance. I kind of like it. And you can see how that clubhouse is coming together. So we'll leave it there for now. Oh, maybe we'll, we'll put a couple cart paths in. Maybe we're not done just now. I just I want to see how that's going to look with the... Uh, and what are we going to put it for surfaces here? I almost feel like I want some interlock bricking or something like that. Uh, hmm. What do we want to do with that? Hmm. 
there's stone. Stone fits in with the whole theme. So let's go with the stone. I hope it's not too bright. Maybe the stone looks a little darker. Let's try this. And go back. And we're going to spline that. I hope it doesn't look odd with our road, but uh, we're going to spline this or what we're going to do with this. Let's, let's bring it in from the road here. Has to catch the stairs and make a turn down in towards here at least and then it's going to go somewhere and does that texture look do we love it i'm keeping it for now whether you like it or not it's staying for a little while and we're gonna that was surface number one wasn't it Let's make something squarish in here to kind of cover this area with some of that fancy interlock stuff. Maybe kind of square it up to the Pro Shop building coming in there. Like that. That's not too bad. And then coming off those stairs and connecting in. Something like that. I think probably should go in here as well we'll take that for now uh, sure we'll see how does that look it's gonna be a heck of a car path going down there to the forward decks but I think that's not terrible if I look at it from different angles here I may have to clean that up a little bit and when I come off 18 where are they going to go, right? That's the question. Do I want to send them up kind of here? I can't. The first tee's there. We don't want to. So they're going to have to come up 18 and come on the other side of the clubhouse, I think, is what we're going to have to do and bring them back around. I'm not sure where we're going to have cart storage. Is that going to be the other side of the pro shop? I don't want number nine to be looking at that. I don't know. We're, we're, we have some, some things to consider. But uh, for now, I hope you enjoyed that. I... Uh, had a lot of fun building that clubhouse, and I think it's going to look really interesting. We get the holes built in around it. Not sure if that birch is going to stay, but that's kind of a neat view there. And I, I like the way that patio and stonework came out all around that. Uh, and also that far side isn't isn't terrible uh, either. So, And there's going to be kind of a view down number one fairway from beside the clubhouse. So anyways, it's a start. I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, little uh, bit of my course instruction series on uh, building uh, these outbuildings, the uh, clubhouse facilities. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, then definitely do so. If you have any questions about this process and uh, I can help at all, then definitely leave some questions down below. So I will talk to you later. So stay safe and uh, take care. Bye for now.